If I ever said it's fuck you, bitch, I swear to God I mean it. How the fuck is y'all in heaven when all y'all ass some demons? Ever since you left the system, you been acting like you Jesus. Boy, your ass ain't Jesus, you the devil, you deceiving. You bitch, just drop the low and let me know so we can spin it. Let me know. Made me wear a dress and skirt, see, I was just committed. Said I won't gon' speak my piece, and okay, I did it. But nigga, fuck your chief, and I don't care if you offended. You see what he did to his DM? His wife's getting did the same way. They don't wanna stay. I heard they be trying to get away. I know you heard about Efru. Mm. And they call this nigga Messiah. Chief was beating her, she was screaming like Mariah. I know you heard about ISIS. Mm. They made us jump her and beat her. She wanted to leave that night, but they made us keep her. I know you heard about loyal. loyal. I know you heard about Pice. Pice. They both got jumped by the so called disciples of Christ. Oh, take that go out there, man. If I ever said it's fuck you, bitch, I swear to God I mean it. I How the fuck is y'all in heaven when all y'all ass some demons? Ever since you left the system, you been acting like you Jesus. Boy, your ass ain't Jesus, you the devil, you deceiving. Bitch, just drop the low and let me know so we can spin it. Made me wear a dress and skirt, see, I was just committed. Said I won't gon' speak my piece, and Ain't okay, okay I did it. So but nigga, fuck your chief, Ain't and I don't care if you offended. Not nah, for real, fuck them niggas with their mental illness. Heard he speaking on my name, uh uh, no, he did it. Y'all don't practice what y'all preach, y'all just speaking gibberish. When chief was beating Efru ass, y'all act like y'all ain't hear it. Pussy. I'll take the carbonation flag and wipe my ass with that shit. That's why I fucked his wife and then I made her my bitch. I would get a yes a zero if I rated on a scale. If that was heaven, bitch, I'd rather go to hell. Yeah, some girl said, no, that's my man. <laughs> You're her man. I, I, uh, all right, so, uh, guys, uh, whew, sweaty one. Gosh, so tell me, who, who are you? Uh, tell the people. Uh, I'm on a nine. You're not 963, are you? Yes, I'm 963. Whoa. Mm -hmm. The transformation, you were kind of LGBT. That's the knowledge helped me um, transition because I believe that I should live my life objectively. And I'm thinking about long term. Can you guys hear her? Can you guys hear? Hey, I got an echo. I got an echo here, guys. All right. So, tell me. Um. So. You were a lesbian, uh, homosexual, Sex. and um, you're you're now you're actually you're not you're not that anymore. Is what you're saying? Um. Well, I'm not saying that I still don't like females. I'm just choosing to be with a male as far as my mission goes. And goes. Well, what what kind of knowledge? What's going on? What kind of knowledge are you talking about here? Well, I wanna, I, I just wanna be able to procreate, and I feel like I wanna procreate the divine masculine, so I wanna come into my divine feminine and be nurturing. So you're bisexual? Yes. You, you actually are, or are you just making, forcing that? What's going on there? Oh, I am bisexual. So you are attracted to Moose here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Press one if you believe she's attracted to Musa, and press two if you think that's Cap. I. They're saying two. Is that the truth? No. Tell me how you guys got into it. So it started when I want to say she first got here, first couple of weeks, and you know Baba G had recommended you know she go with the men because she was giving off more of a just lesbian vibe. You know, mm -hmm. and that can make some of the women uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So as I seen her around the men, right. I 
just didn't get that vibe too much. I got a very feminine vibe. I got a very, I don't know, I kind of was like attracted to it a little bit. And, um, and I also just, <clears throat> I felt like after speaking with her, having like a conversation where I felt like, I don't know, I sound like a little girl. I felt like uh, she needed guidance. She needed help. And, um, yeah, I feel like I got help. Wow. Yes. So help, her, help her. Help her. Help guide her. Help her. Um, help her be a woman. Facts. And I... Oh. oh. Yeah. High five here, man. <laughs> High five. Absolutely. All right, man. You're going to help her be a woman. Absolutely. Are you not a woman? I am a woman, but I wasn't truly a woman. Like, I feel like it's what I'm becoming. It's what I'm trying to become. Because mm. I was in a state of... So, like, um, even though I like females, I start, I start thinking about it. And I'm like, I can't procreate with a female. I can't... Like, I, I don't have the same abilities as a man. And I just started thinking about a lot of things. And I'm like, well, if I can go both ways, how come I just won't well, just be a woman and just go be with a man. It, to me, it makes more sense because I can procreate. I seen somebody post a video. They was talking about how the black woman was the first human being ever. And I'm sitting there like, wow, that's crazy that people still promoting that idea that the black woman is God and that everybody come from the black woman. I don't come from the black woman. What are you? T I don't people we don't understand reality and facts and that's the main point i want to drive home right now is that we have to base our life in objectivity and facts this is what the most high chief baba g teaches us that you are to live your life objectively and not subjectively you have to understand that a lot of people are subjective in life most people in life are sheep they follow the masses they do whatever the they on tv they tell them they just believe anything and they're subjective they go based off of how they feel about something what i've noticed is that with the information saying that the black woman is God and she the head and the backbone and all this, it gives women this false sense of power. And that works for the European agenda. That works for them. If the black woman has this sense of uh, false sense of power or authority, it works for, for their cause because that means the women are going to feel like they don't need the men. So the black men and the black woman are never going to pair back up and really be powerful and remember their God and move as such. So it keeps that separation there. We're talking about Willie Lynch syndrome. This, come, this ties all the way back to the Willie, the Willie Lynch syndrome where they speak on how the black woman is in a frozen independent state. Before, the black woman used to be dependent, fully dependent on the black man. That was, that was her God. Without the black man, what is she? And now when you have the European who made this, this fake world with money and, you know what I'm saying? Now the black woman has this false sense of Oh, I don't need I don't need the black man like that. You feel me? Like I might want him. I might want him to feel good. You feel me? As like a commodity or some type of accessory. But to the point where she really feels like she needs the black man, it's just not the case. So you have this information that's being put out saying, oh, the black woman is the backbone or the structure. Uh, she holds the black man down. Like, don't. He coached them, like I said, an hour before to stay calm, let, let Joy freak out. Um, I'm going to address some things right quick. Um, it's a lot of rumors, you know, talking about how I need help or I can't talk to my family. People have been trying to contact me or people acting like I can't make my own decisions. Like, I came here for a reason, for a spiritual journey. I can talk to my family whenever I want.
want to. Um, personally, I don't want to talk to my family because I am with my family. Like, I don't resonate with my old family anymore. I don't resonate with them anymore. So it is what it is. Like, I, I don't mind speaking to them, but they be on some disrespectful shit. They don't respect my journey. They don't, they don't respect me for who I truly am. And with that being said, I don't have to contact anybody who don't respect me for who I am and who I'm becoming, period. Mm -hmm. And so I recently just talked to my brother. He he really knows me. He just, he just inboxed me talking about, am I okay? I respond, yeah, and I'm explaining to him why I'm doing the things I'm doing. I get no reply after that. All day I didn't get no reply. Why is you inboxing me? This is why I don't, I don't respond to my Babylon family because I already know what frequency they own. But everything is good over here. Like I'm, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Everybody assuming and you know making jokes and shit like that. But I'm good. Like. And they try to say that you had. They try to say that you have bipolar and that the the military looking for you and this that, and the third. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that shit. Trying. They trying to make it seem like you can't make up your own mind and you helpless and somebody manipulated you to come here. Like, did anybody even ask you to come here? Nope. Did somebody hell recruit no. you to come here? No, hell no. Is anybody I, making you stay here? No, I can leave when I want to. I can leave whenever I please. I can leave. And if I'm 16, 17, I escape from home. Y'all talking about, right. Right, y'all talking about, all right, go home. Just go home to your parents. I can understand that. I'm 21 years old, grown as hell. You worried about me and what I'm doing with my life. That's why y'all make me laugh because it, it it don't make sense. Make it make sense. Mm -hmm. So we just want to address that, like. So you letting them know that you good, right? Your Babylon peoples can actually, your family members can actually hit you up and they have contacted you, right? Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She got her phone. Like her people, they contact you. And what happened when they contact you? When they contact me, I mean, I don't, I don't really want to answer. To be honest with you. I don't really want to talk to them. If I wanted to talk to them, I could hit them up. I'll call them. I have my phone. Mm -hmm. I just literally spoke to my brother the other day. But he, he on some Babylonian shit. He don't want to reply back because he want to be nosy. He don't really care. I can understand if you genuinely care, but you don't reply back. When I'm explaining to you, I can off back see that you don't really care. My mom, she going around talking about I'm this, I'm that, I'm doing this, and I'm doing that. But you haven't hit me up once when I got out here. What are you talking about? You haven't hit me up without once when I got out here. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. You said your Babylon mom ain't hit you up. My Babylon mom has not hit me up one time since I've been out here. Not once. Right. How you looking for me? <laughs> you know where I'm at. Like, mm -hmm. Don't make sense. People just want clout. They want clout off this shit. They want clout. They don't care about me. They don't really care about me and what I'm doing. Right. They know I'm good. Because they cared about you, they would support you. They wouldn't be out talking to trolls, trying to spread rumors right. about things that's not true. Exactly. That's and they said, I'm making you say this. Is anybody making you Hell no. Nah. Like, what the fuck? If you can't see that this is genuine, <laughs> something wrong with you. Some some wrong with you. If you can't see that this is genuine, something wrong with you up here. And I can't help you. Nobody can help you at that point. Mm -hmm. Right. Woman, now you back like a man. What you gonna flip flop? What's up with that? You know, pick one. If you're going to be bisexual, be bisexual. Come on now. But you was living a gay life and a stud life from age 15. Ain't had no dudes. And you go over there and you have sex on the first week you've been there. That's easy. But you call Janet out on Facebook and saying how many bodies you got. Call her a hoe. But what did you do when you go over there though? Like really, you cannot talk about nobody. And you can slander me all you want, boo, because I got proof of everything I can back up. You got kicked out of the Navy for drug abuse. You've been in the mental house. Hell, I've been in the mental house. I ain't no shame in it. I got bipolar. You do, too. You do, too. So stop lying and do a he. Uh, uh, bipolar can't make decisions. That's a damn lie. We can make decisions for ourselves. I got a whole house. Shit. I got a whole house, boo. Look at my house. I got a whole house. God damn it. I got this. Me and my husband. Yes, I'm married. 
I'm married, baby. You know, and her daddy, I told her daddy, uh, yesterday I said, oh, yeah, the reason why she ain't answering your phone call, because I don't call her. I'm not trying to look for you. I don't want to look for you, baby, because you told me, uh, I ain't trying to hear you out, I ain't listening, so if me and all these other boy men, and I kept telling you to check yourself on Facebook Messenger, I'm your mother, I'm not one of these people out here that's a random individual, check how you talking to me, you know what I'm saying, oh, I could check you, oh, you could check me, but you can't call me stupid, because I'm very intelligent, I'm smarter than you, little girl, why you around here talking about some, you grown, <laughs> how? You ain't even got none. You don't get benefits from the military. They don't fuck with you. You don't even get a check a month for nothing. You was on food stamps before you left here. Hell, a lot of us on food stamps. I don't get the shit no more. Because I'm living in Mississippi now. They tell me I make too much fucking money. So I buy everything with cash. But I help your ass get on food stamps. You broke as hell. You over there broke them you don't burn your bridges from everybody. Okay, we tried to help you. You was defiant since you was young. You wouldn't listen. You 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 hard headed. You stubborn. Your daddy say he done with you because you don't want to call him. And that man birthday just passed April twenty fourth. You ain't call him say happy birthday. But then he had to call you and what you said. Oh, I forgot, nigga. You excuse me. I did say I was trying to change. It takes a lot to change. It really do. Girl, you lying. You ain't forgot nothing. Excuse me, Miami. You ain't forgot nothing. You didn't even call me for Happy Mother's Day. What I look like calling you for? You told me don't call you no more. Think about it. Why? You I felt like that wasn't being taken into consideration from the get-go. But I, I can't point the finger because I should have put my foot down more and but I didn't I just went along with everything because I felt like I could trust him I felt like he's been here longer and um yeah I just felt like he's been here longer and I felt like I should just trust him and he's the man he's supposed to lead and you know all of these like I, I just be feeling like uh, I let me, just let, allow me to read what you wrote me right that's what you okay to do. I'm upset and hurt I can't point the finger because I'm going to miss the point. It's all my fault at the end of the day. But basically, me and Captain Musa decided to separate. He brought it up because he feels like he's not really attracted to me like that. Or our chemistry is not there. And I was feeling the same way. But I thought maybe it's because we haven't been together for a long time. He also told me. He wanted he wanted to get with me to get his dick wet. So so he won't have to do certain things anymore. And to turn me into something, I kind of feel like that's Babylon and I'm mad at myself for letting this get as far, get this things this far. And trusting him too much because he even told me that he feels like I'm too trusting. Only reason I'm trusting is because I felt like he'd been there for four years, so I felt I can trust him. I'm not going to say I didn't learn anything while I was with him. I learned how to be with a man, and I had practice coming into my divine feminine. I feel like he ain't feel a connection because he wasn't being real with me, with himself, from the get as a man, he didn't lead the situation correctly. Even after me telling him we should ease into the relationship and not just jump into one. I trusted him because he the man and I felt he knew, he know what he doing and what he wants. But now I feel like I can't respect him as a man and I don't want to get back with him in the future. I feel like he puts a bad taste in my mouth for himself. I'm more mad at myself though, because it's my fault for letting things get this far and not speaking up about certain things and feelings. But now I know that those feelings were because I felt the connection wasn't there. 
I thought we just needed more time to get to know each other, maybe. But I, but now it makes sense because he didn't really want to be with me. It was just for selfish reasons. And honestly, I don't want to be with nobody if it's not. What? If it's not cheap. I didn't see that part. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa <laughs> there. <laughs> okay. It's got to be chief or someone that that's already a chief. I felt this way before I came to Carbonation. I was like, if I ever wanted to be with someone, it would be with chief even though I never read this part. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa there. <laughs> okay. It's got to be chief or someone that that's already a chief. I felt this way before I came to Carbonation. I was like, if I ever wanted to be with someone, it would be with Chief, even though I never read this part. <laughs> even though I felt others were attractive, I just wanted to give Captain Musa a chance. He came on to me. I felt maybe it was meant, but I don't see me being with him anymore or in the future. I'd rather be with Chief and I feel like I feel you can properly lead me and I can trust you. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, you <just> stop <laughs> What the fuck? I gotta start reading the messages all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> That's the lesson I just learned. <laughs> I just skimmed through that shit. I didn't really read all of it. Wow. Musa, what's your what's your thoughts on this? Mm. Mm. Does that hurt your feelings? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. You think that's why she did it? To hurt your feelings? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's why she did it, you feel me? But I don't know. But it hurts your feelings. Yeah, look, yeah. Because yeah. I could feel Do you think that like... you owe her an apology? Because you were just trying to get your dick wet and your intentions wasn't right? I don't know if I would, I would say my intentions wasn't right. I just feel like I was trying to be honest with my nature. Like, that was a part of the decision. And I feel like that's something that Baba G told but me. But you made the decision based on you wanting to have sex rather than... But not solely, no. Like, for example, Baba G would talk about how a lot of times what determines on if he deals with a woman is his physical attraction to her. Was you physically attracted to her? Yeah. Now you're not. I just feel like she has certain mannerisms that turn me off that I didn't get to see until I was with her closely. Yeah, but you got to see that stuff first. Mm. You've seen it. Mm -hmm. You just didn't want to, you didn't want to see it. Mm -hmm. You're horny. Aaliyah was giving me head. She was eating Malia pussy from the back. Was it from the back or mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. it was from the back, yeah, right? Because yeah. you you was you was mm -hmm. and, she, and then Aya thing. was behind her, mm -hmm. and then you was giving me top, mm -hmm. and then boom, as you giving me top, I'm laying there. I'm like, she stuck a finger mm -hmm. in your vagina, yeah. and you jumped. You was like, whoop. I was like, yo, what type shit is going on? Like, like how many you. fingers you put in her? Like, don't be. I was trying to like, I was regulating her like, yo, don't, don't be putting Why, fingers yeah. in my, in my wife. Like, don't put no fingers, you could eat it, but don't put no fingers up in there. 
and for some reason she was like she jumps up you fucking up the you vibe fucking up the, you fucking up the vibe and all this shit i'm like because <laughs> i know malia is trying like not to malia sometimes don't tell her you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, like I was. thought she was about yeah. to put like fingers yeah, up in her. I'm like, like, was, yeah. like, nah, you're not about to do that. Like, mm -hmm. I just like, yo, yo, don't do that. Don't. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, you fucking about. She hops up. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, calm the fuck down. She was like, no, you calm. She like, no, you calm the fuck down. And I said, yo, watch your fucking mouth, big. You watch your fucking mouth. And she she said, no, you watch your motherfucking mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, walked out. She's like, what the fuck is you talking about? She said, fuck is you talking about? Oh. We in my house. Right? Yeah. That's like yep. a pause right there. <laughs> you already know me, right? Pause. So now the wives get up immediately. Boom. Uh they hear the uh, ruckus. So Zoka and uh, Sheba and, and Ephraim come in the room and Aya and the Malia, they they naked, but Shorty go in the bathroom, they like, whoa, 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 watch your mouth in front of our chief. Matter of fact. Slow, calm the fuck down. They start talking to her like that. Like, yo, calm the fuck down. Watch your fucking mouth when you talk to Chief. Don't ever in your life disrespect him. So, boom. Now they came out the other room. So, they they walk up on her, and she's steady. I'm like, yo, stop screaming in my fucking house, yo. Watch your mouth, yo. And, and, they, and they told her, like, get on your fucking knees, yo. Don't ever disrespect. They pressed her hard. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? They told her get on her fucking knees, like get on your fucking knees, or it's gonna go down. Like they was about to roll her out. So she get on her knees and she's talking like I'm saying, but I'm like, nah, you was disrespectful, yo. You, you, I told her like, don't ever in your fucking life disrespect me, like you stupid, my nigga. I don't even play that. I had to like put that back. It's like you could look at it as I'm harming you or I'm being a demon or trying to stop you from your path. But how can I stop you from your path? From your path, it's your path. It's predestined. Um. You don't have to be over there to be on your path. That is not your path to be over there. Your path is not to serve anybody. Your path is to be on your path. And it's like, how am I stopping you from being on your path? Just because you're not over there no more. You think your path is to be over there serving him? You don't think you can do it on your own and go to the tropics on your own and just live and then you'll be straight? I'm not a troll, see? Because I'm doing it for the betterment and I'm, I'm not only saying the bad i'm also saying the good i'm saying what i learned i learned some of that i did learn some knowledge over that but it's some knowledge that i can keep on my own i don't have to be over there serving nobody else i don't have to be nobody else they're getting beat they're getting beat fucked up bro they're getting beat bro if you've seen the pictures of of baba g's baby mama bro before he went out there he beat the dog okay here go the pictures right here let me show you <laughs> Now, this is why I worry for them girls. Because this is what Nature Boy did to his baby mother. You see this? Wow, I never see? seen that. See? Now, this is the, uh, now, you see both her eyes are shut. Both her eyes are shut. You know, certain things he said is true. But don't for one second believe the holy and that he's the Messiah and that he's just this innocent, good good deeded ass person that like he don't mean no harm he has all good intentions and that like he's he's mastered all of his deadly sins and yeah you don't have to worry about anything yeah you have to worry you know what i'm saying you don't you don't know these people from a mile away you don't know them all. and that's that's the that's the scary part of going over there is you don't know the, your family because y'all all had the same mind because y'all all think alike but you don't know the, you don't know me you know what i'm saying you don't know what you're getting yourself into. It's not what you think it is over there. The grass is not greener on the other side. Yeah, you can go to the tropics and ground and, and get me on your healthy shit, but at the end of the day, you you gonna die too. You gonna be right in the soil. Your body gonna be decayed, dirt in the soil, just like a nigga in Babylon would. And when, whenever what happens to the world where the end of the world do come, nigga, you think you gonna be exempt no, nigga. they don't have to be over there with the niggas. And this is what they're not realizing. They so caught up in the knowledge. They so caught up in the doing the right thing. They so caught up in this race, this this endurance to the end, and this loyalty. They so caught up in this commitment, these MODs, that they, they dumb loyal. They dumb loyal. It's a difference between being loyal and dumb loyal. You're dumb loyal. Nigga could just, bitch right in front of you, just, nigga, dog, nigga. And manipulate you into believing that oh oh 
call it commitment and loyalty and you still stick around. You are goofy. You're a clown. Save the knowledge. Promote the knowledge. But don't don't try to use it to your own will and then make you seem like you on a high horse. Don't try to make it seem like you on a high horse and it'll you and then you just this fucking king ass Jesus God that came back and you just so smooth and what the bro? Like you look stupid. Like on some for real shit, you dead ass look stupid. I don't know if anybody have told you, my nigga. You look retarded. And this ain't real over there. You think they real to you? You think them niggas real to you? If they was real, they'll tell you stupid. You look retarded, nigga. You dead ass look dumb, oh, man. I don't want to hear it. My my higher self, my, my universe has been guiding me before you and is still guiding me after you. So who's you? You're not my higher self. Actually, I've been blessed ever since I left. I've been getting blessed. The universe has been blessing me. But you was not Jesus. You was not the Messiah. You was not that person in the Bible. You was not. Y'all was two different people. You was not that same nigga who walk on water and did all this fantastic terrific crazy ass shit that's not you bro you just got some knowledge nigga you just you just got a little knowledge nigga that's all leave it behind I thought it was you 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 tried it God, i don't have to be here i don't have to do this i don't have to come into my divine feminine i can be me i can literally just go back in the system live my life and wait till i get a certain amount of income where it's steady and then go to the tropics on my own I don't have to be over there. And he makes it seem like before you leave, he literally drills into you that you're doing something wrong and that you're doing something wrong and that you're gonna, you're not gonna succeed and you're, you're, you're never gonna be like him. You can't do what he's doing. He literally puts you down before you leave, puts a spell on you. And it's like, that's that shit I'm talking about. It's like, why is you worried about me leaving? You know I ain't gotta be in your camp. You want me for your, for your clout. You want me for your money. You want me for your viewers. For what, uh, uh, for, for what you can utilize me for. That's why you worry about why I'm leaving. Why else is you worried about me leaving? Why are you upset? Don't go. Don't go. You're going to get yourself in shit. You're going to get yourself caught up shit. You're going you're gonna to think you're doing something good for a minute. You're going to think that you're doing something right and righteous. And that you, you, you're doing something good for humanity. Even if other people did see certain shit that's not true that you talk about, they don't speak about it because... They want to believe that he know what he talking about. Keep this nigga behind bars. I don't give a fuck what nobody talking about. It's motherfuckers who left. Still talking about some free the three guy. Fuck the three guy. That nigga need to be locked up. Y'all not going to, y'all, y'all don't care about it. Y'all don't, motherfuckers don't care because it ain't they mother. It ain't they sister. It ain't they niece. You feel me? Like it's women over there who are being abused. You know what I'm saying? Who are being manipulated mind control you feel me these are young women these are young men who have a good heart who just trying to do the right thing you know what i'm saying who really look at this dude as a guide as a teacher someone who's gonna guide them but instead they're getting abused and thinking that it's it, it's discipline or it's um you know what i'm saying but it's not okay we see it online that how he talked to them and, and the things he's doing is not okay to anybody's spirit. Watching it just upsets people. You know what I'm saying? Fuck dude. Fuck the three guy. Lock this stupid ass nigga up. He a bitch. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the three guy. If anybody else talking about free him, it's fuck you too. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you too. I don't give a fuck what he done did. I don't give a fuck what knowledge you teach. Bitch, you don't apply your knowledge. You're not applying it. Bitch, fuck you. Fuck you. Because if it was my mother being beat, if it was my sister being beat, this is how I feel. This is real righteousness. This is this is what it means to be righteous and to be upright and to be compassionate. You know what I'm saying? And to be a human being. You feel me? It's like, what? Like, if it was your mother, your sister, your niece, you would want that, that nigga to be in jail, period. Because you, you manipulating my sister to think it's okay to get hit. Because you manipulated my mother to think it's okay to get hit. That's why he deserves to be behind bars, nigga. It's because he's manipulating motherfuckers to think it's okay for certain shit to, to happen. Like, nigga, we heard you, you kick Malia in the stomach. Like, you kick Malia in the stomach. Like, come on now. It can't get, like, it's, I know it's got worse. I've heard it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I will testify. I will testify to say that, yes, I heard screams. 
and them when some them screams sound like the bitch was about to die i'm sorry i want to call it a b word I think it was effort but like it just sound like she was about to die i'm not you feel me i'm not finna you feel me that's morals morals over principles my morals come first my heart come first like that shit was horrible it was horrible to hear them screams for someone to do that to another human being it just shows who they are it shows who you are for you to do that to a woman especially like just another human being in general but a woman especially i don't give a fuck what the woman, like the screams like she must have like i'm telling you the screams it sound like he was trying to kill her and I've, I've heard him tell motherfuckers you're supposed to beat your woman until she's almost about to die nigga i'm a witness of that i will witness i will testify against you fuck him he's a